Praise his holy name. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank God from whom all blessings flow. We want you to make a phone call and call some of your friends, your neighbors, anyone you might have, a phone number that would receive a call from you, and have them tune in as we minister the word of God. We're going to be reading out of Ephesians. I ask uh, my beautiful wife to come and join me. Thank God. She agreed. It's hard to get her on this air, but she's here, and I asked her if she would do some reading for me. Praise be to God. And as we read, we pray that you would take some notes because the Holy Spirit wants to speak to you. There's some things that I will not touch or reach, but the Holy Spirit wants to specifically encourage you in these areas. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you that this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing, and we are glad in it. We thank you for souls coming in from the north, south, east, and west. We thank you for all the believers that are fellowshipping today around the globe. We honor you with our hearts, mind, yes, body, Lord. and soul. And we thank you as your word go forth. It will not return to you void, but it will accomplish everything you sent it forth to accomplish. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Good morning, everybody. And hey, listen, share this video. Uh, even if, you know, you haven't had a chance to make a phone call, but if you tune in, share this video, okay? Amen. Praise be to God. Turn to Ephesians. Open up your Bibles to Ephesians. And we pray that you would always bring your Bible when you in church, uh, listening to someone uh, minister. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God a workman, needing not be ashamed, rightly dividing, dividing the, the word, word of, of truth. truth. The word of what? Truth. truth. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you need to go back and read. You need to go back and study. And you need to share the good news. Uh, in Ephesians, we're going to start Ephesians chapter 1. And we're just going to read. Praise be to God. We're going to read. I know you want me to exegete it and, and so forth. We do very little justice uh, in exegeting the scriptures uh, other than allowing the Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts. So, Read and ask the Holy Spirit to open up your understanding in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we can have two different versions of Ephesians. Yes, I asked her if she would look at something else. Just, this uh, is a, what is it, a contemporary version, uh, message Bible. Yeah. And uh, so please listen uh, very carefully. But take down notes and things that you that, that pricks your spirit. You need to go back and search it and read it. All right? In Ephesians, uh, Paul to the Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 1. Uh, verse 1, we're talking about the believer's position in Christ, you know, in the heavenly realm. The believer's position in Christ. We are to know our position. We know our positions at work. We know our positions in sports. We know our positions, uh, at, hopefully, at home as parents. But we need to know our positions in the kingdom of God as a believer. So it starts off, it says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the who? Saints which are at Ephesus and to the faithful in Christ Jesus. So he's talking to the believers, those who are believing in Christ Jesus and those who are faithful in Christ. As you begin to read God's word and study God's word and meditate on God's word, you begin to be faithful in the things of Christ Jesus because the word of God changes your heart if you would allow it to do so. It says, grace be to you and peace. Hallelujah, from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow this scenario, amen. Look at what it says. It says, it's written to someone, not just anyone, but to those who follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to who? The saints. We've been set apart, which are where? At Ephesus and, watch this, to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. That brings it up to date. But it says, not just Ephesus, but to the faithful in Christ Jesus, it brings us up to our century, to our time, talking about us that we're faithful in Christ Jesus. He's talking to you. He's talking to me. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath, past tense, blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Isn't that awesome how he says he has blessed us? We're already blessed, but we don't walk in our blessings we don't walk in the victory that God has already given us. Praise be to God. But as you begin to read and build yourself up in your most holy faith, you begin to trust God and obey God and begin to walk in that peace. 
now in the now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It says, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with what? All spiritual blessings. I know you're blessed with a car and a house and a home and a job. You're always talking about the blessing that you have. But the physical the blessings. The physical blessings. But we're talking about the spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. It says, according as he has chosen us in him, this is just awesome. When did he choose us? Before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. You are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood, chosen of God. You're not just somebody just came on the scene. You've gone through some challenges and some changes here, but that does not change what God has already said about you. What He's already We're said. Still about chosen. You. We're still chosen. chosen, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to Himself, according to the good pleasure of His will. Hallelujah! We can stay there forever. To the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He hath made us. Accepted in the beloved. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Can, can I read what Please. I have here? In this version, there's no uh, verses. Like he read, what do you read? Verse 1 through, through six. 6. Here it says, how blessed is God mm -hmm. and what a blessing he is. Wow. He's the father of our master, Jesus Christ, and takes us to the high places of blessing mm -hmm. in him. Mm -hmm. Long before he laid down earth's foundations, he had us in mind. How about that? And had settled on us mm -hmm. as the focus of his love wow. to be made whole and holy you, by his love. Mm -hmm. Long, long ago, he decided to adopt us into his family mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. What pleasure he took in planning this. Mm -hmm. He wanted us to enter into the celebration of his lavish gift giving by the hand of his Beloved son. Did you hear it? He laughed lavish. Lavish gift. Lavish gift. It, it was overflow. It was more in abundance. It, you, you can't even. He lavished. Hallelujah. Maybe my, my wife has a different understanding of lavish, but praise be to God. We just thank God. He lavished. It's lavish gift giving. But I like what it says here. Long before he laid down earth's foundation, mm -hmm. he had us in mind. He had us in mind. He didn't forget about We're us. He never thought. forgot about We're us. You're not afterthought. I know Amen. some of you thinking you just so oh, afterthought. Mm -hmm. You afterthought and why am I like this? And why is this? That's, that was not, and that is not God's plan for you to remain in that position that you're in. You might be in there now, but that's not God's will for him, for you to remain in. And the freedom that comes is not when you actually step out of that physical realm. It's when you allow the spirit man. We are spirit. We have a soul. We live inside, inside of a body. body. Mm -hmm. And when the spirit man begin to grasp what the spirit is saying to the church, we begin to walk in freedom. Not You know how many people that we know that have house, car, all these temple things, but don't have these. You know how many people have died and left all these things, the things that are seen in the temple, the things that are not seen are eternal. Set your affections on things which are above and not beneath. So you have to begin to understand in your spirit, man, what God has already promised you, it belongs to you when? Now, I'm saying, but Bishop, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what I'm going through. No, no, but now in the challenges, the things that you face, the movements that you're making, praise be to God, God has already made a way. Already. He, you know, I like what it says. It says he adopted us into his family through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. What pleasure he took in planning this. What pleasure? In planning this. This was mm -hmm. planned long mm -hmm. before the foundation of the earth. But, and it said what pleasure he took in planning this. So you're not an afterthought. You know, you talk about people have all these uh, when we talk about lavish gift giving here, it says into the celebration of his lavish gift giving. Like you said, people think about house and cars and stuff. But even people with those things, uh, they get depressed. Suicide sets in. All kinds of things go through their mind. So, you know, you're not, once again, an afterthought. This was planned. You were planned long before the foundations of the earth. Unless we be mis misunderstood. We're not saying that it's okay to just live and struggle and barely make it. And on the other hand, it's not because you have 
these things and because you can travel you we, you we get it misconstrued on both ends those who have and not everybody we know that but those who have and have nots we kind of feel a certain way about ourselves in one way in the wealth and another way in the poverty or the challenges we face but we miss the whole point mm -hmm. of who Jesus is and what we possess in Christ Jesus and God alone, he gives us peace. Watch this. In the midst of the storm. Don't you know people have storms with finances? Don't you know people have storms with material wealth? They yes. have some major don't get, don't think that they live in a, there's some people wish they just had a sound mind. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace mm -hmm. whose mind is stayed on thee. Not what we have and not we, what we don't have. Again, don't be misconstrued into thinking that I'm saying you should be poor or oh, you should be broke and you just should. No, no. Get into the word. He came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Not just in the sweet by and by. But here and now, here, somebody give me that praise. Earth. Amen. This is in verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Somebody say, thank God for, for the, the blood, blood of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus, we walk in peace. Because of the blood of Jesus, we heal. Because of the blood of Jesus, hallelujah, we can use the name that's above every name. And the Bible says every knee was going to bow and every tongue was going to confess. confess. That Jesus Christ is Lord. Because of the blood we heal. We're healed. We're strengthened because of the precious because blood of, of Jesus. Him. Hallelujah. In whom we have redemption. We, we've been redeemed Wait. by the blood of the Lamb. Go ahead. It says, because of the sacrifice mm. of the Messiah, mm. his blood poured out on the altar mm. of the cross. Mm. We're a free people. Yes. We're redeemed. We're free. Free of what? Free of penalties and punishments. Chalked up by all our misdeeds. The forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. His grace. His unmerited favor. Praise God. Verse 8 says, wherein he has abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence. Huh? Having, verse 9 says, made known unto us the mystery of his will. Underline that. Made known unto us. Made known unto us. Those who are chosen, those who are believers, all what we read, the faithfulness of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. What did he do? He says, having made us known, made known to us. What? The mystery. It might be a mystery to those who don't believe, but it's not a mystery to us. A mystery, to, mystery of him according to his good pleasure, which he has purpose where? In himself. Mm. You have anything to do with that? It says, because of the sacrifice of the Messiah, the blood poured out on the altar of the cross, we are free people, free of penalties and punishments, chalked up by all our misdeeds. And not just barely free either, mm. abundantly free. Wow. That's good. Abundantly uh, free. Declare you free right now. Come on, stop. Declare, I'm free in Christ Jesus. Do it by faith. I understand what's happening. I can see the challenge. No, I'm free in Christ. You believe it, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at it. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, verse 10, he might gather together in one all things where? In Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. I wish we had time to continue. It, Go ahead. it says he thought of everything. Mm provided for everything we could possibly wow. need, wow. letting us in on the plans he took such delight in making. Mm. He set it all out before us in Christ, mm. a long range plan in which everything would be brought together and summed up in him. Everything in deepest heaven, mm. everything on planet earth. How about that? Say he's a liar. Mm. He's the father of all lies. He's lying to you. Hallelujah. He's lying. This is not where you need to be operating in darkness, operating in fear, operating fear, operating in confusion and doubt and anguish and anxiety. Hallelujah, sickness and pain. This is not his will for your life. Not his will. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, he's up above all things you would prosper and be in good health. health. Even as your soul, soul prosper. prosper. I, I like it says, he thought of everything. Everything. He provided everything, everything we could possibly need. Everything. 
Praise be to God. You just gotta, you just gotta believe and reach out for it. Mm. It says, "In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined." Verse eleven, according to the purpose of Him who, watch this, worketh all things after the counsel of His own will, mm. that we should be to the praise of His glory. Who first trusted in Christ. Look at verse 13. In whom we also trusted. After that ye heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation. The gospel of mm. your salvation. In whom also after that. What happened? You believed. Watch this. You were sealed with the mm. Holy Spirit of promise. Mm. The Holy Spirit of promise. We've been sealed. Nothing could come in and take it. And nothing could hinder it. Hallelujah. As long as we walk in that peace and that victory. We have something. It, it said it's in Christ that you, once you heard the truth. Mm, the truth. And believed it. Mm. You got to believe. Can I just say, well, hold that for a minute. Yeah. See, truth doesn't necessarily set you free. Right. You, yeah. The scripture said you shall know the truth. And it's the truth that you know will set you free. You don't have to. Say, I believe, I, 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 I don't like what they're teaching, I don't like what they're that's, that's neither here nor there. Go back and check it out. Let the Holy Spirit speak to your heart. Then bring the correction. Don't just talk about what you don't like. But when I was a child, I can't speak for a wife, but I was a child. We can come to the table and say, you know, we don't like that. We don't want that. We did it. We tried it. My father would say, oh, go to your room. You ain't get nothing. All right? That was kind of cold. But he would let us come back down and eat later. But we couldn't make up our, go to the kitchen and tell our mother what we wanted to eat. She had an agenda for what we were going to eat and not eat. When we were younger, that was established already. That was established. When they cooked dinner. When they went shopping, as a matter of fact. fact that, that was already established, and you already knew. when Once they cooked, whatever they put in front of you, right. that's what you ate. Right. Whether you liked it or not, you ate it. Right. It, is a, it says that... Uh, once you heard the truth and believed it, this uh -huh. message of your salvation mm. found yourselves home free, Lord Jesus. signed, sealed, and delivered by the Holy Spirit. Wow. You know Again, that, we go back know, to 13. Wait, 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 signed, wait. sealed, and delivered by the Holy Spirit. Signed, sealed, sealed, and delivered. And delivered. Once it's signed, it's sealed. Now, you can't just... When something is sealed in the mail or something is sealed by the authorities, if you violate that seal that don't belong to you and you break that seal, praise be to God, there's some serious challenges you will face in the court of law. I'm talking about in the natural. In the natural. You know, even when you receive certificates, even when you become a lawyer, you, you get a seal that states or let folks know what? Then let folks know what? This seal let folks know that you yeah. went to school. This seal, folks, uh, uh, this seal let folks know uh, some of the things you had to do and where you are in terms of. The seal fortifies it. And, and, exactly. And says, you know, that this is what happened. But you know, when I think the stamp about of approval. approval you, you could now go through places and do certain things with this seal. And this is in the natural, but what about in the spiritual? Okay. Well, I was going to say, when it says sign, seal, and deliver, it makes me think of the mail. They have mail that you cannot get unless you sign for it. It's sealed. And once you sign for it and it's enclosed and the mailman delivers it, you know that once it's signed for that now you can open that seal. You know that you can look at it. And I, I just thought about, I, I just thought about mail, signed, sealed, and delivered, because of mail that e that we even get here, it, you can't get it unless you sign for it. And uh, it won't be delivered unless it's directed towards you. It has right. to go to the person. It has to go to that address. That it's addressed to. Amen. So God, he's sent his only begotten son. He's so loved the world. He gave, Jesus is so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him. Who, the whosoever causes us to be in a family where we can now receive that seal. Praise be to God. It, it establishes who we are in Christ Jesus and what we possess. Well, in here it says, this signet from God is the first installment of what's coming. 
a reminder that we'll get everything God has planned for us, a praising and glorious life. Because it says that in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Watch this. In whom also we have obtained signs of the delivery. And in what do we an inheritance? Mm. An inheritance being predestined. This is all what, what uh, my dear sister says, being predestined according to the purpose of him worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Mm. After the counsel of his own will. Praise be to God. It, it, mine goes on to say, that's why when I heard of the solid trust you have in the master Jesus mm. and your outpouring of love to all the Christians, I couldn't stop thanking God for you. Mm. Every time I pray, I think of you mm. and give thanks. Wow. Every time I prayed, I think of you and give thanks. That we should be mm -hmm. to the praise of his glory, verse 12, who first trusted in Christ, verse 13, in whom you also trusted. After that, you heard the word of truth, mm -hmm. the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that we believe. Mm -hmm. We are sealed. With the Holy Spirit of promise. Wow. Back to that seal. We are sealed. Praise be to God. Which in which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Verse 15 says, Wherefore, mm, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, Mm -hmm. okay. And love unto all the saints. Look what he did. He said, after I heard this, he says, Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, your faith and love unto all the saints. Look what he says. Cease, I cease not to give thanks for you, mm. making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Mm. Mine says, but I do more than thank. I ask, ask God of our master Jesus Christ, the God of glory, to make you intelligent mm. and discerning in knowing him personally your eyes focused and clear mm. so that you can see exactly what wow. it is he is calling wow. you to do. Wow. Grasp the immensity mm. of this glorious way of life he has for Christians. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the utter extravagance of his work in us who trust him. Mm. Endless energy, mm. boundless strength. Let me, let me read that. This is the King James. It says, the eyes of our understanding being enlightened. Mm. Okay. You can interrupt whenever you feel yeah. like it. That you may know what is the hope of his calling. Somebody say, I can know. I can know. We don't have to guess about this. We can know in our knower, in our spirit man. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what time of day it is. I don't care how bad it's gotten. We still can know. That's that's why it says here, your eyes focused mm. and clear. Not mm. clouded, mm. but your eyes have to be focused and they got to be clear. Go ahead. Uh, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and the revelation and the knowledge of him. Now watch this. The eyes, she's just talking about the nice. eyes of our understanding being enlightened. That we may know what is the hope of his calling. We're not just talking about the natural eye. Praise be to God because the natural eye can only see but so far. That's I look right. outside my window and I, can, I don't care how good my vision is. I can only see but so far. And the older I get, my vision uh, anticipates it goes a little bit mm -hmm. but the spirit man just continues to flow it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance to who the saints you just read something it, is, it says here uh, knowing him personally uh -huh. your eyes focused 
and clear mm. so that you can see exactly wow. what it is he's calling wow. you to to do. Yes. So you can see exactly what he's calling you to do. Mm -hmm. Grasp the immensity of this glorious way of life he has for Christians. Mm -hmm. Once again, he's addressing the believers. Oh, the utter extravagance of his work mm -hmm. in us mm -hmm. who trust him will have endless energy, yes. boundless strength. Yes. But you get, your eyes got to be clear and it has to be focused. And he's calling you to do an immense work. In your study, look up that word, the eyes of your understanding. Look that up, your eyes of your understanding. understanding. What being in like what? The eyes of your what? Understanding. Not these, not the eyes of your understanding. Hallelujah. Being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of your calling and what is the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe. Seeding the exceeding greatness of his power to usward uh, who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Do you see that? And it says, which he wrought in Christ when? When he raised him from the dead and sat him at his right hand in heavenly places, far above. Somebody shout far above. Come on. Far, I want you to, I want to get that picture, get that, that picture in your heart. Get far above what? All principalities. Far above all what? Power. Mm -hmm. Far above what? All might. Far above and dominions in every name that is named, not mm -hmm. only in this world, but also in that which is to come. We're going to, we're going to, after this verse, we're going to stop because if you don't grasp this, for us to continue to go on, praise be to God, time is about, our, I'm going to ask my wife to read the last verse after I finish this, yeah, after I say what I say, and then we're going to close, because this is just a lot to, to receive, and you need to sit down and, 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 and meditate on this, meditate on God's word, day and night, and observe to do all according to that's written there, and he says, and then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then, and then thou shalt have good success. success. I want to read this again. Hallelujah. Verse 20 says, which he was in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead, sat him at his right hand in heavenly places. Most people say, that's it. No, watch this. Mm -hmm. He said, sit at the right hand of the Father in heavenly places. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Far above what principalities? There's nothing can touch him. There's nothing. Far above principalities and powers. There's no power that you can name. There's no name given whereby men shall be saved. Powers and might. Far above all these principalities. Far above all the powers that we might know. And the might and dominion. And every name. Name something. Praise be to Every name. Not only in this world. He makes it clear. In this world. Not only in this world. But it is in this world. He's saying it's in this world. But not only in this world. But also on that which is to come. I'm reading this last two verses, and my wife's going to read, close it out. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things the church. Who's the head of the church? Not bishop. Praise be to God. Not pastor, so and so. Not this one and that one. The head of the church, the ecclesia, ecclesia is Christ Jesus. He's the head. I don't care what name they put on the door. I, I, I used to have Bishop Shane Gaston say, no, I'm not the head. Praise be to God. I, I'm the under shepherd. Praise be to God. He's given me opportunity to minister in such a wonderful way for 41 years. And oh, how, what a blessing. Listen, and have put all things under his feet, gave him to be the head over all things to the church, mm, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all oh, in yeah. all. Mine says, all this energy issues from Christ. God raised him from death and mm. set him on a throne wow. in deep heaven. Wow. In charge of, listen to this, in charge of running the universe. Mm. Mm -hmm. Everything from galaxies to governments. Mm. That's deep. That's good. No name and no power is exempt mm. from his mm. rule. Mm. And not just from the time being, but forever. Mm. Mm -hmm. He is in charge of it all. Mm -hmm. He has the final word on everything. How about that? That's good. Mm. Many don't believe that, but mm. he has the final word on everything. Mm. At the center of all this, Christ rules the church. Wow. The church, you see, is not peripheral to mm. the world. Mm. The world is peripheral to the church. Mm. The church is Christ's body, 
in which he speaks and acts, mm -hmm. by which he fills everything with his presence. Mm -hmm. So God is mm -hmm. above all, all the galaxies I was looking all, at. And through all. I was looking at, they was talking about the universe and the atmosphere, and it was a believer, and he said that God is above all of this, the universe, what we what we can see, he's above all of this, even in space, he's above all of this. And I like when it says, he's in charge of it all. Yes, he is. He has the final word on everything. Yes, he is. Uh, before you close, this, I want to leave you, I want you to go back and meditate on these scriptures, read them so when we get together again, praise be to God, you you just go verse two, chapter 2, verse 2, and ver up to 3. Chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, it says, uh, we, we were made alive in Christ Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. It says, and you have he quickened all of the things that she, my wife just read to you and got excited about. Well, look what he says. Look what he says. And you have he quickened, quickened. Mm -hmm. who were dead in trespasses and sin. All the things she just got excited about, I'm excited about. Look what he says. Look what he says. He made us alive in Christ. It says, and you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sin. Come on, church. Get that in your spirit. We're not, we're not dead in our trespasses and sin anymore. We're alive. We made us alive. Look at this. We're in, verse 2, in times past. Come on. In times past. I don't know. I'm, I'm saying what you have said, but it says, in times past, not yet, ye walked according to the course of this world. Hmm. So if you're walking according, uh, uh, according to the course of this world, it's not right. You're still walking in darkness. According to the prince of the power of the air, Satan, darkness. The look at this, the spirit that now worketh where? In the children of who? Disobedience. We're children of the most high God. We're not children of disobedience. They are children of the disobedience. Not talking to us, he's talking to the not the believer. believer. He's not talking to the believer. Last verse, and, and we're gonna move on. Uh what fourth? It says, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh. We all all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The wages of sin, sin is death, death, but the gift of God is eternal. I say, it says, oh, we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Renew your mind daily, and were by nature the children of wrath even as others. But God, somebody shout, but God. But God. Oh, somebody shout, but God. Come on, but one God. more time for the Holy Spirit. Somebody shout, but God. But God. Who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherein he loved us. Last verse, and then uh, I'm going to ask my wife to close it up. Even when we were dead in sin. Remember, we talked about that. We were, even when we were sinners, we were dead in sin. Hath quickened us together with Christ by grace ye we are saved. saved. Woo! Listen, this, Woo! this version here with Ephesians chapter 2 is so good. Maybe wow. we can pick up next week. I'm not even going to read wow. it because it, wow. it, 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 it's, it's so good. Wow. But we just thank you for joining us Amen. as we read Amen. the whole of Ephesians chapter 1. And what chapter a blessing. Three. And we went into four. chapter 2. Two, Chapter four. two, verse four. from one through verse four. Hallelujah. But in here, I'm not Hallelujah. going to read because our time is up. Hallelujah. It's it's so good talking about don't lose your temper. It talks about how we polluted our lungs with unbelief. Oh wow! Oh, and wow. then we exhale disobedience. Oh, it's so good. I'm not going to read it though. We we got to go. We got to go. We, Listen, um, go to our website at www.stg-ct.org. Um, and on our website has all of our social media on Facebook, under Jesus Saves Ministries, Instagram, um, and I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, and also go to our YouTube channel. Under YouTube, um, it's under Shane Gaskins, and you can see all the videos if you've missed any videos. But it was a blessing to share with you on today. Uh, we thank you for sharing this. Please get in touch. Please call yes, us. Get in touch. Uh, you can email us at jsmct88 at gmail.com. And all of that information is on our website. So we thank you for joining us today. Father God, we just ask you to touch Amen. each and every person that have heard this message. Thank so we thank you, Father God, for increase in their lives. Yes. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing in their lives. And we come to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. 
Amen. If there's one who's never given their heart over to Jesus Christ. If there's one who's never given their heart, we ask you to repeat after us. Father God. Father God. Come into our heart. Come into our heart. We believe that you died on the cross. We believe that you died on the cross. And you rose again. And you rose again. For us. For us. And I thank you. And we thank you. For changing me. For changing us. And for coming into our lives. Coming into our lives. In Jesus' name. We confess Jesus as our Lord. Lord. We confess you as our Lord and, and our Savior. Savior Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we Thank pray. You. Amen. Amen. And just Amen. give him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He's and worthy. Bishop Shane loves to praise him. Hallelujah. Go ahead and praise him. Even when we go hallelujah. off, you can continue to praise him.